Hey guys, the FM Gaffer here. Welcome to episode 23, I think it is now, or it could be 24, of my event save here on Full Manage 2016. I think it is 23. So today is a brand new season. We're back here with Juventus and we have had a load of transfers. So let's go through them now. First of all, the outs. We've had, yeah, ugh. basically all the, a load of players that came back from their loans. Uh, all the ones in the first, in the second team. A lot of them, we could just sell for quite a bit of money. As you can see, there's quite a lot of fees here of decent money. Where we've just been able to make money off those players that we didn't actually want. So yeah, but first, uh, the big outs. We got Claudio Marchisio going to Tottenham for thirty-two million pounds. Now he's thirty years old, and as good as he has been for us, um, I think it was the right time to move him on. He was demanding a new contract as well, which I wasn't happy about. Um, but yeah, he, he has been a tremendous player for Juventus and um, yeah, he's getting on a bit now so I think now is the time to cash in and we have brought in a lot of centre midfielders well, okay, a couple of centre midfielders that will replace him uh, quite well, I think um, and yeah, um, I was quite happy to let him go really because uh, yeah, as I say, he was old and we got a really good fee for him Similar story here with Leonardo Bonucci now we got him better centre back some of you will see him see them if you look in the ends and um yeah, he was just a little bit surplus to requirements, and again, similar to the uh, to Marquezio, he's 29. Um, his his attributes weren't going to get any better. And if you look at them, yes, they are very good attributes. Say like the b big forward defense of tackling 15, marking 16, heading 14, and positioning 19. Positioning is yeah, that's extraordinary. But if we just compare it to um, where is he? I uh, can't find him. There he is Marquinhos, who we've brought in. Um, Marquinhos, although yeah, as 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 you can see, Bonucci is a lot better. But what I'm looking at is up here is this guy is uh, Marquinhos is where's his age? Does not say his age? Yeah, there you go. 22 years old. Bonucci is 29 years old. He's going to depreciate, and um, as you can see, he's on a much smaller wage, and we've got, we've got him on a quite a big contract. So though, yeah, so Bonucci at uh, Liverpool, and he's got 14 caps from Brazil, and he's just got the potential to be even better than Benucci ever was. And if we again if we highlight the defensive roles, um is he Benucci's only winning by one on those two and then by quite a lot. Yeah, positioning <laughs> he was very good. But again we've got to get new blood through and Marquinhos is part of that and and um unfortunately Benucci has become surplus to requirements. So thirty million pounds and again a very good fee for him. Mario Mandzuki is up next. Now he was injured for quite a lot last season. I was quite happy to get seventeen point five million pounds for him from Marseille. Again, 30 years old now. Uh, he's had a hell of a career, especially since he joined Bayern Munich. He became, he became a very good striker. Moved to Atletico, moved to Juventus, and then eventually has now moved to Marseille. And um, yeah, those go very good player. We have other strikers, and we brought in a new striker, um, a new young one. And yeah, again, he was just not going to feature a lot in the first team. So I was quite happy to get a, quite a big fee out of him now, rather than a small fee later. Next up, Simone Zazar, Zaza, however you say it. Um, we loaned out to Man City last year with 13.75 million <laughs> future fee. Um, in the end, they w didn't want to pay that much, but I managed to get them up to 10 million, and they were quite happy to pay for that. So it was, it was, it was quite good to get that kind of fee for them for Man City, um, even because he wasn't particularly going to feature in first team plans. Next up, Quando Asamo. We finally got rid of him for a decent fee. I mean, 8 million isn't a lot considering he's worth about 17 at a certain point. He's now worth about 11. But yeah, um, I was he was he just didn't fit any of my formations. The only place he could play was centre midfield, and um, that wasn't his best formation, uh, best, best position at all. I think his best position was wing back left or something like that. So he never really fit in, and I was quite happy to offload him to Real Madrid when the chance came up. Um, now next up we have Filippo Romagna. He was a centre back that we were that was quite a young one, but in the end, uh, Carpi came in for five million with a quite a big percentage profit. Um, Claw. So if he becomes a good good player, we're still going to cash in on him. But yeah, I was quite happy to let him go for five million. Isla's gone for three million to Newcastle. He was on loan last season. Debucci, a uh, first team for, uh, first team guy, uh, our back at right back. Again, he was unhappy for quite a lot of last season. We managed to get three point five million from uh, who was it? Oh god, I got to do this again now. Um, three point five, uh, two sorry, two point five million for two Marseille, same as Mandzukic. Uh, we have got a load of young players that have also gone out um, for small fees. So you Zipovic has gone for a million. Quite a lot of night between a million and like five hundred thousand there. I both say Cherry's gone out. He's he's not very good really. Um, and this game not as good as he was last year. And yeah, just quite a lot of young players that we just sold because they weren't really good enough. 
We also let people go out and freeze, like Kabashi, Lanini, Baluko, uh, Blanco, and Nick. Oh, yeah, Neto, we've got, yeah, he sold him as part of the pipe exchange, which you can see over there. Um, Shiavon's gone to Askali, which is a little bit of a shame because I kind of liked him, but yeah, he had to go. And yeah, we just loaned quite a few uh, young players out again. Zivkovic has gone out on loan to Sevilla, getting first team football there, which is important. Uh, Moray's gone out on loan to Latina, again, first team football. And Mateus Pereira, first team football. At Atletico Paranense, well, want him to go back home and just feel comfortable and then when he's ready to be amazing for us he will come in so on the ins finally we're getting to the ins and they're the most important part yeah let's start from the bottom so you already knew about really and Neustadt we bring them in they're just really good players to fill out the squad and really it's hopefully going to be a short term replacement to Buffon Neustadt is just a really good backup Zivkovic you already know about he's gone out on loan Mirko Tallarico now he is just a young player that's got quite a bit of potential 16 years old Italian it's good to have those guys in your squad for Europe, uh, sorry, Champions League and I think it's Serie A squad registration rules, so that's always good. 2.5 million, not a bad fee. Next up, Ignazio Dura, sort of the same, but he's Spanish, so not Italian. Um, but yeah, he's, he's just a really good player. He's got nice potential. And yeah, look at the current defensive stats on him. They are first team level defensive stats. And yeah, the, the rest of the pitch is not very good, but he doesn't really need to be. He's going to be a tremendous centre back um, if we train him up right. And next up, we got Mark. And okay, yeah. I'm going to go back to the fee. Um, next up, we've got Robin Nosh. Uh, we, we, you already know about him. We signed him as a backup centre-back, and that's what he'll still be. Matthias Pereira, you already know about. So, yeah, now the big five deals that really um, were quite important. And first up, Briel Mbolo. Many of you will have heard of him. He's a Swiss striker. He has tons of potential. He can also play attacking midfield, which will be good for us. 19 years old, got so much potential to grow, and he is a really good striker right now. He'll be playing either false nine or complete four. They are literally our two, two things that we use, so... Um, yeah, fit in well. They're only on quite a cheap wage, considering. Um, and to be honest, seventeen uh, fourteen point five million. Sorry, it's quite a good fee, c considering he's been linked with like Tottenham for like twenty million in in real life. It's not too bad, and I think he's going to be a hell of a player in the future. Uh, next up, Richelli Bazor. Many uh, Bazor. I'm not, I'm not really sure how you say it. Um, he, many of you, many of people have been signing him, and he, him turning into an absolute wonder kid. We're hoping to utilize him in the ball winning midfield support role. Um, I think, yeah, he could play, like, literally our, our three things, our roaming playmaker, deep line playmaker, and ball one in midfielder. Um, so he fits all of them pretty well. But we're training him as this one, and yeah, I think he's going to turn him into a hell of a player. Signed, £20 million plus NATO, Ajax were in for a goalkeeper, and I think that's quite a good fee considering I think he's going to be worth a lot more than that in the future, and he will be part of us growing uh, to global dom dominance, hopefully, really. Um, yeah, so that's a good sign in there. Next up, we've got three defenders. Now, Kurt Zuma, um, he is a really, really good young player. Many of you know him uh, as he plays for Chelsea. He's quite, he's quite good, really. Um, and yeah, again, he has all the right defensive stats. Really, really, really good mentals and physicals. Technicals could use him more, but how often is, gonna, is he going to use his finishing and free kick taking? So, um, yeah, really, really good player. And I think 30 million is quite a good feat, considering this foot, year's football manager, whenever you bid for someone, they always just go 90 million or something like that. Like anyone half decent and then Kurt Zuma is very good and um, 30 million pounds is not too bad to pay for him um, yeah he is actually the third cheapest and we bought him for 30 million pounds as I say we got loads of money recouped we only spent 31 million more than we got in uh, so yeah next up Matteo Damian now I think I might have overspent a little bit on this guy but yeah um, he's going coming in as our fullback. Basically, he's the replacement to Stefan Lichtstein. Lichtstein is 31 years old now. As good as he is, he will have to be replaced, and this guy is a guy to come in. So they're going to be rotated quite a lot this season. I think that's a little bit bad, like not as good because he does have some like really really good stats overall. But then he also has like flair five and corners four, which you know even at this level, like people even defenders and stuff, we'd have like nine. So I think that star rating is a little bit off. But yeah, he's I think he's a really good player. Um, and I think we can grow him still a little bit more. He is 26 years old. I think we can develop him to a very experienced, good right back that can be the best right back in the world. I reckon he can, um, even though he's like, yeah, even though the star rating doesn't suggest that. And um, yeah, he's, he can play left back as well, so that's always good. Uh, he's got some really good stats. Tackling 17 in particular, I really, really like. He's more of a defensive fullback than uh, Licksteiner is, which I kind of like too, um, although he does have the dribbling and the crossing that can... Um, be helped with the attacking fullback. So yeah, he will fit in well, I think. Uh, next up, final tra transfer of the window, Marquinhos. £37 million. Pounds. Bit of a big fee to pay, but again, I think he's worth it. He's got the potential, like Kurt Zuma. I think him and Kurt Zuma are going to uh, make a formidable partnership in the central of defence. 
centre of defence. And I, I'm pretty sure, by the way, our star rating has gone up. I think, like some, we've I, I don't know who we brought in, but it's made the star rating go way up. Because if you look at it now, um, players like Dybal, no, no, that's not a good example actually. Uh, players like Jetro Williams, how much was he? He his his star rating was one of those, I think, when we first got him, or one of those. Um, and now he's like gone back a bit. I think I don't know. I think the star ratings have changed. But anyway, um, we um, yeah. So Marquinhos back to Marquinhos. Um, he has some really good stats in the defensive areas. We've got positioning, tackling, marking, all fifteen. Heading could use some work. But yeah, he's got all the right mentals. Lovely, just block of seven mentals there. That really good defenders have really good stats in. Um, eighty k a week, not too bad. And yeah, he's twenty two years old. So as I say, he's got potential to grow. He's already won all these trophies down here. He won the Copa Libertadores. I didn't actually know that. Um, yeah, he's won obviously the league earned um, title lots of times with France in the Coupe de la Ligue, Coupe de France, and the Champions uh, Trophy, which I'm guessing is the Community Shield. But yeah, I think he's a good signing, and I think we've really bolstered our squad for this season. But uh, this is the Super Cup against Roma, and yeah, quite a lot of people are still on international duty. It was the European Championships this year, and I think there was. Well, no, I don't know. Why I'm, I'm I'm guessing all the South American players like Marquinhos and Barbosa um, are just there because. I, I, I don't know why they're on a such either they probably just got a friendly or something coming up soon um but yeah so that means that our squad is quite tight but we have managed to make a team and this is it to date playing the 4-3-1-2 the one we know Buffon in goal we've got Matteo Damian making his debut at right back we've got Kurt Zuma and Mugani in the middle of the defence we've got Chiellini playing left back today we've got Kadira, Neuschada and Hernandez in the middle Hernandez I have been trying to sell but I don't think it's going to happen Channel of Glue and Cam yeah he's unhappy Who, a couple of people are unhappy about certain things but yeah and Bolo and Morata up front. We've got a bench of Ordero, Willems, Bazaar, Bazaar, that guy, Rich Edley, um, Del Piero, Gira, Ferrero, Tellerico, Benini, and Notch. So we've got quite a few young players to come on, maybe make their debuts, uh, which would be good for their development. Uh, Del Piero is going to retire at the end of the season, which is a little bit of a shame. I did try and talk him out of it. But yeah, he's going to be um, a very good backup for us next season to come in whenever. Um, so yeah. Sorry about that cut there, guys. Interrupted by my mum. But, um, yeah, we've got to uh, go into this Roma game. So, I think I was going through the team, although I don't think I finished. I can't really remember, to be honest. It was, like, two minutes ago now. <laughs> Buffon, Giolini, Rugani, Zuma, Damian, uh, Kadira, Neustadt, Hernandez, Tano, Glu, and Bodo, and Marata up front. No, I think I did go through it now. Yeah, I went through the bench as well. What am I on about? Um, but, yeah, what was I talking about? I don't remember what I was talking about. Sorry, guys, if you were really interested in what I was saying, but... I had it out oh, oh yeah, I was talking about Dapiero, wasn't I? Yeah, he's retiring. It'll be a good backup this season. Um, he still has amazing technicals and mentals. They are really good. But um, yeah, unfortunately we won't be able to utilise that beyond the season as he's 41 years old. It had to be coming soon. Um, and yeah, he the time has come. We've also obviously got our other three, uh, two formations. This one will probably feature quite a lot this year, except for today because obviously quite a few of my strikers are... Dybala is on international duty, Barbosa is on international duty, um, I think that's it, but yeah, so we've only got Dal Piero, Marta and Mbolo, obviously we've sold Mandzukic and, just Mandzukic, I'm going to have to check this now, did we sell another striker? Um, oh, why is it doing that? Alright, um, did we sell another striker? Zaza, I guess, but... I swear we had another striker. I'm being blind, aren't I? Like, I can't see him. Well, Morata, Barbosa, and... Am I being stupid? Yeah, no, I think, yeah, it's just Ibala and Barbosa. Yeah, I've no idea. Oh, yeah, Del Piero was our other one. Yeah, that's the one I was forgetting. So, yeah, we've squat Manzuki short for Mbolo. So, yeah, anyway, this is going to be the team. Let's get into this match finally against Roma. Submit the team. will be our first game of the season against a uh, top-flight Italian team. Um, actually, one more thing to go through, I've forgotten to. They're playing 4 4 1 1, which is sort of similar to our one, except we've got an extra striker and they've got an extra wide midfielder. Well, they've got two wide midfielders and we've got three centre midfielders. But yeah, basically, pre season, just want to go through this. I did a load of leagues against top teams because I wanted some experience against some top teams. Also, I wanted the TV money because we were not in a great financial place at the beginning of the year, but now we're actually quite cool. We're 19 million in the, um, in the black because. Um, yeah, well, I expected to spend a lot in my signings in the end. I did, but I also recouped quite a lot, so that was quite good. But yeah, so we played PSG, Man United, Chelsea, Borussia Dortmund, uh, Bayer Le Leverkusen, Monaco, Liverpool, Arsenal and River Plate in, in different tournaments. And we only won one game against Man United, which is pretty poor. Fin finished third in those two, and um, I think we finished 
fourth. Yeah, we finished bottom in the Turin Cup. Did like, like my imaginative little names there. Uh, also, we played Lazio and Chile testimonial, 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Benucci and Chile actually scored. Yeah, Benucci came back for this game. He had, he had actually been sold for this game, but he was one of those that came back for the testimonial. Uh, beat Poggy Bonsi 4-0. I don't know where they are, but I think they're... All right, they're in the fourth division. No, that's that might be the fifth division. But I think it's, it's the Serie C one, and then the Serie C two. I think I'm not sure. I'm not sure really how it works. But yeah, I think there's like the fifth or so division. Uh, we beat him four 0 Eric Lanini, who I'd never heard of before before this match. Um, I just quick picked the the, the team by the way, and um, yeah, he actually looks like a good player, but we sold him, <laughs> but for free. But yeah, um, he, he yeah, that, that, he wasn't very amazing. Anyway. Um, uh, yeah, but he scored a hat trick in three minutes, which is pretty cool, including a penalty. But yeah, Pogba got the goal, the only first team player that we really care about. And then we drew 0 0 with Karorazi. They're a, um, they're a, uh, what do you call it? Um, they are a affiliate team of ours, and I think they're in like the third or fourth division. I'm not sure what Liga Pro B It's one of the Serie C's, I think. Uh, well, it doesn't say it, does it? Oh, Liga Pro, there you go. So it's part of the Serie C. I think I said there's a Serie C1 and C2. Am I being stupid? Probably am. They're probably like I know there is a series C one and C two, but I thought they were different levels rather than in on the same level like Conference North and Conference South, for example. But yeah, anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, moving on, JN. We played them. They're a team from Spain. I thought that I, I knew it was a um, not Italy, basically. Uh, we beat them two 0 no, Morata got two goals in that one. Then we had this friendly cup. This wasn't this friendly cup wasn't done by me. Um, it's actually what gave me the idea to do the leagues. Or um, yeah, and we beat Nottingham Forest in the semi final three one. Cocolo, again, someone I've never heard of scored. Marata also got two. Danny Fox scored from Nottingham Forest. He lost in the final to Getafe. Michu getting on the score sheet there. Many of you will have heard of him. Um, yeah, we're 3-0 down in 30 minutes, which wasn't good. But then, yeah, we've recently just been in FC Augsburg. Obviously, quite a good German team. Um, Channel, who got the only goal of the game there. And that brings us to today's Super Cup final. We've also got friends against Wolfsburg and Sassina to come. Probably one of them will be cancelled for some, for some reason. There usually is. And then, yeah, we start the season against Atalanta, so that will be next episode. But today we're worrying about the Super Cup final. We've um, already submitted the team, let's go in. Uh, so, yeah, they have a full-strength team, really. Javinho, Pjanic, Dzeko, all there. Um, Ababo's on the bench. Wow, he's still at the team. Uh, Turbe, uh, Dumbi on the bench, Salah on the bench. Uh, Yago Falke, the former Tottenham guy. We really like this guy. We, wait, we sold him for 1.6 million, and then Genoa the following year sold him for 12.5 million, which I'm very upset about. But yeah, anyway, I've really got to get into this game. I've, how long is it? This episode might be quite long, or longer than you think, especially including the transfers, etc. But yeah, let's get into the game now. As Kadira starts the season off very well, the nice foul there. Florendi, obviously, we finished our season against Roma with that 3 1 win in the cup final. So hopefully, we can start it with another win against Roma. Neustadter not doing good there, losing the ball, but yeah. I was thinking about playing Bazaar, or Baz I'm going to call him Bazaar until someone corrects me, um, uh, instead of Neustadter, but I thought Neustadter, I mean, it's the Super Cup, so I'd rather keep Bazaar just in the wings, I guess, and yeah, um, wait for his debut, in why well, it's competitive debut, until the new season. I'm sure he will feature a lot, though. So, yeah, also I want Roman Neustadter to just get a feel for the side. I mean, he's, he is a rotation play, he's, he's not going to play. And um, the Super Cup is sort of a really good way to play players in competitive matches, but not important competitive matches, if you understand what I mean. Anyway, Damian gets off award, Kadira. Hernanes wins that, but it comes to Florenzi now. Florenzi coming forward for Roma. Roma looking the better side, I'd say, early on. Uh, and Dzeko! How was Dzeko not scored that? I think that was a really, really good tackle by Daniel Rugani. Well done him. Pjanic, Zuma away there. Nine Golan back to Muralan Pjanic. Nine Golan. Kadira, one thing I'd like to mention is that I think only one of the signings I made this summer includes like a clause, like a over 48 months or over... T I think it was an only o only an over 12 months one, the one that it was. So I was quite proud about that um, because I am, I am usually one that would just go for the 48 months things and it probably hinders me down the line as Morata finds Briel Mbolo on his debut. What will Mbolo cook up? He finds Darmian, Kadira, Mbolo. He's Darmian's supporting, but it comes inside to Hernanes. comes out to Chiellini. Chiellini finds Daniel Rucani, finds Darmian, really good switch across the pitch there. That looked quite simple, but yeah, that is the end of the highlight. Coming into the game a bit more, we've had our first shot, which is good, but Roma still on top in, in, in terms of stats. Possession, we're looking pretty good, though. Chiellini picks up a yellow card. Um, Chiellini now with a long throw. Uh, that was a bit of a weird clearance, but it fa found Castan for Roma. And Florenzi now, and this could be a good breakaway for Roma. Dzeko, he's got Giovinio to his left. Giovinio, Rugani back to Giovinio. 
great one too <laughs> between uh, Trevino and uh, Ragani there. But yeah, Florenzi's corner is cleared by Kadira. Back in though, Jekko cleared by Kurt Zuma when it comes to Alvaro and Marata there. Marata's lost it though, Mania coming forward. But yeah, there we go. End of highlight. And uh, Nine Golden's going to pick up a yellow, I think, here. And I think that it will be nil at half time. There we go. Um, so if we can get one goal, I make us favourites to win. Alright, that's worked okay Lee uh, let's just do some my face uh, and then we'll do a calm one for the strikers so yeah five good reactions managed to sort of salvage that team talk and yeah let's go out there and get the win in the second half as Hernandez finds Morata uh, lost there and Florenzi to Manalas sorry to Nango and to Manalas and Trevino but that is the end of the highlight um, I swear highlights of this year have got more abruptly ending if you if that makes sense as Florenzi gets the ball in Dangerous and Javinho saved by Buffon. Zuma clears to Torresidis. Salman Golan. Again, see abrupt abrupt end. Um, but there you go. Kurt Zuma is winning everything in the air today. That's good. Uh, let's make our first substitu substitution. Channel Oglu's not really done a lot today. So we're going to bring Mbolo where he is. And we're going to bring Channel Oglu off for Allah. I was going to do that. But then I've just looked at his condition. It's actually worse. Well, it's only two better than Channel Oglu. So we'll go back, we'll put Hernanez where Channel Oglu is, and we'll bring uh, Richardly Bazaar in where um, where Hernanez originally was at Roaming Playmaker. Um, so yeah, hopefully that will have sorted everything out. And Channel Oglu is obviously hasn't got great morale because he, he's been mad about something about... I'm not really sure, I think it was when we let someone go. I think, yeah, I think it was when it was Benucci and he was like, oh, you sh we should be keeping players like him. I was like, I've got replacements, Marquisio and Zuma. And he was like, nah, nah. Not having any of that, and um, yeah, he went off in a pissy, but I'm sure he'll be fine as we get into the new season a little bit more. Um, Hernandez finds Chiellini. Chiellini finds, well, tries to find Bazaar, but it fails. That was poor, but Rugani's put in a tackle there. But yeah, to be fair, Roma looked like the better team. We've just looked a little bit rusty today as Florenzi takes a shot. Buffon manages to save it, though. Falke now with a ball in. Kurt Zuma heads away. It comes to Mania. Finds Castan. But yeah, that's the end. Highlight. Chiellini gets in towards Rugani. Comes back out to Chiellini. Finds Damian. Damian finds Rugani. Neustadter. Bazur. Hernanez. Kadira. Damian, get it in. Damian tries to float one, but Neustadter. Back out to Damian. Neustadter. Bazur. Hernanez. Finds Damian. This is a really nice play. We've got to get the ball in the box. There you go. Damian does. Comes up to Hernanez. Back to Damian. Kadira. Back to Damian. Yes, Damian's in. What are you doing there? Just put it in the box. We have players in there. I d seriously don't understand why we don't just get it in the box sometimes. Uh, but yeah, Doombia gets a yellow card. Great. Uh, let's make our final two substitutions. Kurt Zuma's looking extremely tired. We'll bring on Ignacio Dura for his debut. We'll also bring on Ferrero um, for Kadira. Um, I don't know where he can play there, but let's find out. <laughs> uh, just to break, give people their debuts and... Yeah, let's give them a taste of first team action. As I say, in the um in this match in the Super Cup, it'd be better to do it um rather than rather than in like uh, throw them in at the deep end in like a league game. But yeah, Nangolan to do Rossi to Nangolan finds Florenzi. Florenzi finds Torresidis. Torresidis has Falke there. Falke back to Torresidis. Good block there from Jura actually. Yeah, the um new signing from I think he's the one from Betis or he might be the one from Sampdoria. I'm not really sure. Rugani has that behind for another corner here as Falke whips it in. Rugani again with the ball away comes to Paredes, but that is the end. And yeah, we've only got three minutes left. I think this is going to go to extra time or penalties or whatever it goes to. I'm just going to encourage the team just gently just to see if we can't nick a late winner. Maybe go attacking. No, I think I'm going to go back. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, Rizzoli's going to pick up a yellow. Oh, sorry, Hernandez is going to pick up a yellow for us. Uh, but yeah, people are looking quite tired, but you'd expect that it's a um, it's basically a preseason friendly, and I'm going to say I'm far from pleased because we should have created more chances there. It is extra time, so here we go. Um, still nil nil. Florenzi coming forward now for Roma. Finds Dumbia, finds Falke, Yagio Falke. It's one in towards Dumbia. Rugani easily wins that, and Damian um, collects Torresidis now to Falke to Torresidis. I'm going to go counter because they've had they've had a lot of just the attacking chances or the advanced territory if that makes sense like they had the ball closer to our goal than vice versa 
Um, see if that mentality will work. But Dumbia now comes forward, and Florenzi has so much space on this left side. Where are you, Chiellini? Chiellini is meant to be quite a defensive player as well, being um, being a centre back really. Uh, as Falke gets the ball in, Bozor clears Nangolan back up to Falke. Dumbia gets the goal, but it's offside from Falke, so it won't count for Dumbia. It was a good header though, and yeah, that just shows how how easily they could have scored as Paredes picks up a yellow. But it's going to be half time and extra time. And uh, there's not going to be any change to the scores. No Stata picks up a... Oh, no, he doesn't pick up a yellow card. He almost did. Got a talking to instead by the uh, referee. Regarding finds Chiellini as we uh, enter the second period of this extra time. As Ferreira looks for Mbola, comes back to Ferreira, who is tackled by Nangola. No foul. Falke to Minia. And, yeah, it's just... It's just every time that we've had the ball, we've just been quite poor on it. We've either lost it or just not created any chances with it and Chiellini has given away a penalty fouling Nangolan from that free kick and up steps number 12 here Yago Falke saved by Buffon Buffon has saved us today more than once and um yeah we kept this we um managed to keep it as nil nil uh oh chance here Hernanez Hernanez oh just wide from the post and it looks like we've woken up from that penalty by that penalty save here's Ferrero now Damian finds Mbolo and Bola looks for Marta. Marta's in. Marta, why do you shoot that? Why would you shoot that far out? But yeah, it's over the bar from Marta. Castan now. Damian heads it down. Comes to De Rossi. Castan. Falke. De Rossi. Falke. Finds Paredes. Ferreira wins that. And Bazor. Bazor now. Neustadter. Chiellini. Looks for Bazor, but it comes Paredes. Paredes finds Dubia. Dubia. Dumbia, Florenzi, Buffon with the save. We're managing to keep ourselves in this. Falke now with the ball in. Jura away. Comes to Paredes. Paredes to Torresidis. To Paredes. To De Rossi. To Nangolan. To Florenzi. Nice play from Roma. Florenzi and Neustadter manages to um, take that off. And Bazur looking for Mbolo now. Castan. Mbolo has stolen in there. Finds Hernanes. We find Bazaar. Bazaar, what was that of a shot? Why Why are we so bad at shooting? Like, literally, it, our, our whole team is just really bad. And we've managed to get it to penalties. Here we go. Morata is going to be my first. Uh, then, yeah, Hernanez, who's better. Hernanez, I guess. And Bolo then. Buffon. God, we have shit penalty takers if Buffon's us. We might as well. Um, uh, Neustadter and then Bazaar. Um... Him and him and him and him and him. So yeah, it's gonna be our order. We got Marata, Hernanez, and Bolo, Buffon, and Neuchatter for our first five. Then Bazaar, Lugani, Ferrero, Giro, Chiellini, and Damian. Uh, let's start the penalty. Shoot. I know Buffon has one finishing, um, but yeah, hopefully he's quite a good penalty taker. While he is a decent penalty taker, as it suggests. But Marata steps up first here. Uh, we're gonna actually put this in 3D as um. As it is a penalty shootout, and yeah, we want to see that in 3D. It's not a lot of um, real time. God, th this episode must be going on for like 30 minutes now. I mean, <laughs> apologies for the uh, length, but yeah, here's Morata now stepping up for the first penalty, taking his time. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, Morata scores top right corner. Great penalty from Alvaro Morata, and he gives us the lead in the shootout. It's Somewhat advantageous to go first is De Rossi, and that is a great save. Buffon saved um, Falke's penalty in the match, but he couldn't save that one. And Hernanes gives us a 2 1 lead. Good penalty there, top right corner again. Good penalty so far from both teams. Jim Beer now steps up and he rolls it into the bottom right corner, sends Buffon the wrong way. Well played by him. Briel and Bolo now, and that's a really good penalty from the Swiss. Top right hand corner and gets us um, our third goal. Mania, oh god, Buffon's up next. Mania! Saved by Buffon, he saves Mania's penalty and now he steps up to take his penalty and he scores. That was a bit of a retarded save from their keeper there, but Juan Luigi Buffon, uh, if he saves this now, he would have had a hell of a three penalties and he would have won the game for us, but Castan scores. But nonetheless, Neustadt has a chance to win it and we do win the Super Cup. Roman Neustadt with the goal to win it for us. Buffon really the hero there, saved two penalties on the night. One in the actual match and one, the decisive one in the penalty shootout. He actually scored one too. Fantastic. Juventus lifts Super Cup. There we go. We win Super Cup again. Damian makes a return to Italian football. Oh, yeah, he's Italian, isn't he? Um, and uh, Juventus, we got given 1.42 million for that. Wow. I swear we only got given like 300k for winning the cup. But, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, solid game. Absolutely. I just don't want to rush him out. 
group great mutual respect friendships hold again there we go so we've won our first cup of the season that's good news and we'll start our defense of the Serie A title um, against Atalanta so that'll be next episode hope you guys have enjoyed this one though if you have smash that like button if you have any questions put them in the comment section if you want to see more hit that subscribe button I've been the FM Gaffer we'll see you guys next time